It's a rainy day today, and here I am at my uh, DIY pond. And uh, today I would like to talk to you guys about my Kibao UV sterilizer problem and how I fix it. So uh, let me show you. So here I have my uh, three barrel filtration system here running with this uh, 55 watt Kibao. UV sterilizer. So what happened is that uh, it keeps tripping the uh, uh, GFCI outlet. So basically, you know, this UV light uh, sterilizer must be connected to a GFCI outlet just to protect yourself from electrocution if there's a fault so but for some reason this unit keep tripping my outlet every few days the max I could have gone was for one week so and I check everything inside there's no leakage or anything no short circuit anywhere but it keeps tripping every few days and this is a brand new unit and I've searched online for uh, any fix but uh, unfortunately I couldn't find any fix so and I just figured out this out by myself and as a warning I just want to tell you guys you do this one at your own risk so Unless you're in a control environment or climate control environment, I'm not sure how this works, but I am in here. My setup is with inside my uh, garden shed. So the temperature could go up to like a few days ago was 30 degrees Celsius outside. And it's kind of hot. So this unit could get hot very very hot and it went up to 60 degrees celsius that i measured one time at the uh, ballast so i initially ran this uh, for 24 hours a day and yet it tripped my gfci outlet every three days or so then it went down to eight hours per day actually 12 hours per day and it went for a week and it tripped the, uh, the outlet again so then it went for eight hours per day and it's still the same problem then i found out that the transformer or the ballast is really hot after eight hours it's really really hot like i said almost like burning hot like even at, after i did the modification it was still at 60 degrees celsius to the heat sink so this is how i do it and please remember perform this modification as your own risk this modification will void your warranty and will make the unit no longer waterproof However, this fix will avoid the overheating of the unit and stop the tripping of the GFCI outlet that the unit is connected to and in turn prolong the life of the unit because is the unit is no longer overheated. And please remember to disconnect the power before you open up the unit. So first I have to remove the back cover. So as you can see the cover was removed, there's a thin piece of aluminum there with the grounded cables attached to the top right hand corner. This thin piece of aluminum serves as a heat sink, but because the unit is enclosed in a plastic casing tight seal, so there's no way for the heat to escape. So here I have a small sheet of aluminum. Two pieces of old electronic heat sinks. With one attached to the original aluminum sheet 
So here I have another small piece of aluminum cut to the size of the second heat sink on top there. So here's another old electronic heat sink. So here I trace the back cover to the sheet of aluminum and with the border then I cut it to size. So here I remove the paint around the area of the heat sink for better contact. So here I attached to two pieces of aluminum to the new back cover and a black hissing on the outside of the new back cover. Here I put back the original hissing with a new piece of aluminum. So this is a new aluminum back cover with additional hissing. So when I close the cover, it would touch the original hissing and it would transfer the heat to the outside. So this is my finished modification and it's been running over a week now without tripping the GFCI outlet. Two days ago the temperature outside was at 32 degrees Celsius and it, this unit was running at 60 with my initial modification without this uh, aluminum cover. So today outside temperature is at 20 degrees Celsius let's see what the temperature is. So room temperature 24 and this unit is running at 32 with a heat sink. So 32 32 degrees. Anyway so I just want to share with you guys that that's the fix for this 55 watt G valve UV sterilizer. So right now I set it running for 13 hours per day. It turns up at night time. So I figured that during the day the algae will grow more. So I turn it on during the day and turn up at night and again with this modification this unit is no longer waterproof so make sure you keep it away from the water and do it as your own risk that's it guys thanks for watching that's something i'd like to share with you if you have the same, same system with this keval 55 uv watt uv sterilizer I mean, you run into this problem, this is how to correct it. So remember, this is no longer waterproof. Splash proof, yes, but no longer waterproof. Okay guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. So, my moving mess still moving. My barrel. I just clean it on Sunday. Today is, is uh, Thursday. I do it every uh, two weeks now.